Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Haley. Today we're going to be talking about February favorites. About one, two, three, five things I loved, two things I really didn't, and then a couple of like lifestyle-y, more fun type of things. So let's get into it. Okay, my first favorite, people are going to laugh. It's from Bath & Body Works. It's their spray, sorry, Fine Fragrance Mist in Champagne Toast. My mom got me like a whole set of um, Champagne Toast things. I've never smelled that one before. For Christmas, it was in a whole set. And this, by far out of that, I haven't tried the candle yet, which if it smells the same, I'm gonna love it. But this smells so good. I feel like a teenager, like I still love body sprays. I don't know, perfumes, I have a couple that I really like, but they always just end up being a little too strong for me. So I still prefer a mist that kind of wears off throughout the day. This smells amazing. It kind of smells like fruity. Okay, let's see. Fragrance notes. Bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, and juice, juicy tangerine. Berries and fruity is exactly how I would describe this and sweet. But yeah, I really like this. If you like those types of notes, then you probably would really like this too. Okay, my next favorite is Aquaphor Healing Ointment. This is the big one, you guys. This is seven ounces. If you've been following me for a bit, I've been struggling with contact dermatitis for about two years now. This is the one thing that has really given me relief. Basically, the dermatologist told me I have damaged skin from the trauma of the contact dermatitis. So when I wash my hands, they dry out really quickly no matter what I'm washing it with. I found things that are better than others, but if I leave my hands just a little bit wet and then I use this, so moisturized all day, I just, every time I wash my hands, that's what I do. I know some people really hate putting Aquaphor on their hands, cause and I get it, because it's greasy, but I promise you, if you keep your hands damp and then use this, it sinks into your skin a lot better and you can tolerate it a lot more. This is coming from a teacher who's constantly on my computer, handing things out. Like, I know no one wants greasy hands, so I highly recommend this if you're struggling with any kind of dryness. You know, of course, talk to your dermatologist first, but this is awesome. My next favorite is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Radiant Lift Foundation. This is super hyped up on YouTube now for a reason. It's beautiful, it's glowy, it looks gorgeous, it looks like skin, they have a pretty good shade range. This lasts pretty well throughout the day unless, this is my big caveat, unless you're wearing a mask. This is one foundation that does not last well under masks. I have a full mask foundation, mask resistant foundation routine. It's either up or coming. I'll link it if it's already up. This is not one of the foundations that I mentioned because it just doesn't last well. But if you're only wearing a mask for a short amount of time, this is actually really, really good. It's beautiful. It's expensive, but it's beautiful. And I am wearing clothes, by the way. I feel like sometimes it, it's hard to tell. My next favorite, actually my next two favorites are both eyeshadow related. I am a million years late to the party on both of these. Maybelline Color Tattoo Studio, or not studio, the Maybelline color tattoo 24 hour cream shadow in high roller i think these are the ones that are supposed to be good dupes for the mac um, paint pots i just love this high roller shade it's the only one that i have it's kind of like taupey and it's got a little bit of shimmer in it too it's really beautiful and it looks great with powder shadows too like i'll use just this in the crease i'll use other shadows with it and it's just gorgeous let me swatch it for you guys i have that aqua four on my hands right now by the way isn't this so pretty? Okay, I see. It's kind of like in some lights looks taupey and in some lights looks bronzy. So I don't exactly know. You'll just have to swatch it for yourselves. But this is what it swatched on my hand. Love it, big fan. And my last makeup favorite is also another shadow product. It's the L'Oreal 24 Hour Infallible Eyeshadow in Amber Rush. This is what the back of it looks like. This is what the front looks like. And it has this little like stopper to try to keep it from drying out. This is another one that's bronzy. Oh, you guys, this is so pretty. So this is the High Roller and this is the Amber Rush. Isn't this so beautiful? The, I like to use these two together and it looks really, really pretty. It's so shimmery. It looks like almost like your eyes are wet looking. I know that sounds weird, but I really like that look. 
it is so gorgeous. I can't even describe to you. I'm such a big fan. I'm not wearing it today, I'm sorry, but there they both are swatched for you. Okay, now to talk about some fails. I have two things. I'm really disappointed in this. Wet n Wild Break Breakup Proof Liquid Liner. I'm a huge liquid liner person. I've been on the hunt for one that replaces my matte liquid liner from NYX because they discontinued that one. I've tried this before in the summer and I didn't remember what I thought of it. So I repurchased it and now I remember why I didn't keep it. This is great the first time you use it, but I swear after the first use, it like completely dries out. And, and I use a lot of liquid liner, so I guess I understand how that could happen. But with other liquid liners that I've used, that has never happened. So, and let me show you, it's going to swatch perfectly, watch. Yep. And of course it did. <laughs> it looks great there, but I promise you, I did it one time and I did some bigger wings like I have on today. And the second time I went in to use it, it was like it was dried out or something. So I don't know if it's a how you store it kind of thing. I don't know, but I don't have time. I don't have patience for that. So I'm still on the hunt. The other one is pretty recent to me, but I already know how I feel about it. I've used it like four or five times already and I don't like it. It's the L'Oreal Double Extend Mascara. I've been on the hunt. I keep using on the hunt. <laughs> I've been looking for more drugstore uh, tubing mascara options. And this one came up as one of the most popular ones. I don't understand why. <laughs> so it has two sides. This is the primer side. And this is the mascara side. This is what the wand looks like. This, it looks like it could give volume, right? Doesn't give any volume. You put on this primer side and it's so white, it's hard to get the pigment of the black mascara to cover the white. So that's my first gripe. The second one is once again, it's not volumizing at all. It puts your lashes together and then it looks like you don't have very many lashes. It does lengthen them, but not even that well. Like, I don't really understand the great reviews on this. I am looking for more tubing mascaras at the drugstore. I, I really like my number seven, but I don't like this. Okay, my last three favorites are more of like entertainment based. So favorite thing I'm watching right now, you guys, Bewitched. So I used to watch it when I was a kid. I'm talking about like 1960s Bewitched. I used to love watching it as a kid and then I saw on Prime that it's free with IMDb TV with ads. So I started watching it and I have now become obsessed, which is weird. I don't normally like procedurals, you know, and that one really is a procedural. It's like something magical happens and it, everything's messed up and then it gets fixed, you know, kind of thing. Sorry to spoil it. But it, there's something so fun about it and something that just brings me back, not back, I wasn't alive then, but it makes me feel like I'm in a different time and I just love it. So I'm on season two and I'm like almost done with season two already. So I'm excited to keep watching it. Podcast, you guys. I have been loving the Gilmore Guys podcast again. Gilmore Girls is my favorite show of all time. And I went through a couple years, I'm gonna say it again, years of listening to Gilmore Guys every single day because the episodes are really long. So it would take me a really long time to get through the entire thing. And I take turns. Sometimes I listen to it from top down, like the, the newest episode back to the oldest, vice versa. But I hadn't listened to it in a couple years because I had a couple other podcasts that I was really enjoying. And I went back to listening to it again and I totally remember why. It's so freaking funny and it's so good. Like if you like Gilmore Girls and you missed the whole Gilmore Guys hype, I technically missed it. I started listening to it in 2017 and it was basically over at that time. So you are not alone. It's still up there and it's still as wonderful as ever. So highly recommend that one. Music wise, I am all in on Red Taylor's version, specifically the From the Vault songs. They are so good. I mean, we all know about the um, 10 minute version of All Too Well. I feel like the whole world knows about it at this point and how great it is. But it's also like Message in a Bottle is great. And there are a couple others that I really love. I love Better Man, her, you know, because she's the one that wrote Better Man originally. And this is her own recording of it. And it's so good. And Babe, they're all just so good. So Red Taylor's version and we all knew Red was good, but specifically the From the Vault songs, I am enjoying them 
so much. Okay, I think that's everything for the month of February. I had some things that were probably very expected and some that were kind of unexpected too. I tried to I tried to choose some things that I'm loving that, that I haven't talked a whole lot about on my channel so far. So if you enjoyed this video, I hope that you will subscribe. I hope that you will follow me on Instagram. It's Haley J Beauty, the same name as my channel. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.